we go. We just fresh out of the oven. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. They look Gorgeous. beautiful. Yes, you they could do. just present them like this. Yeah. Mm. We have some. Well, here, just magically, we happen to have them plated. <laughs> <laughs> Can we taste? All right, it? let's taste. Okay. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my God, so good. Mm -hmm. A little messy, but they're really, really good. You can serve them cold or warm, actually. Mm. So. They're really How good. How do you like them? I love them. I'm definitely going to make those. Okay, so sometimes there's more to spice than just amazing flavor. Ali is going to show us her, her two favorite, the one herb and a spice that she loves to use with unique properties. Yes. So this is saffron. And, you know, a lot of people cook with saffron, but they don't know. It actually mimics serotonin. So it boosts your mood, makes you a little bit happy. Good for so inner beauty, for yeah, sure. It's a great spice to have on hand to boost your mood. So Wow. And it's so good. The other one is lavender. Mm -hmm. Now with lavender, everyone knows that, you know, lavender's calming, you have oils, you have the scented sachets. Yes. You can also cook with lavender and it's great for anxiety and sort of bringing you down after a long day. What would you cook with and, lavender? Well, you know, I actually have bought herbs de Provence that have contained lavender. Oh. So you could mix it with a little thyme and different herbs and kind of sprinkle it on a nice piece of fish or, you know, for vegetables for you, that would be, it would be beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. We've talked about the importance of a positive mindset. We learned how to keep negativity out with meditation, and we learned a delicious recipe with Chef Alia. So, I'm Juliana Hever, and that's what I would do to enhance inner beauty. Now, it's up to you. I want to eat more of these. Okay. They're really good. Yeah. <laughs> I've never cooked with lavender, but I have used hers uh, from Provence. Yeah. So I bet I have cooked yeah, and not even realized it. Even like it. a garlic bread with a little bit of mm. Provence on top would be really nice. Mm. I do like a yogurt dipping sauce for this, mm. or oh, I guess it's not vegan. Mm. I keep thinking. You're watching for real living. Hi, I'm Jeff Halvey. Today is all about the perfect workout for your personality. If you're having trouble getting motivated, maybe your fitness choices are wrong for you. Well, we're going to find out what's best based on your personality type today on Workout From Within. We're putting the fun back in fitness, not to your chest, but more to your hip area. There you go. That's it, let's go, come on. You gotta live it. Welcome back. Did you know your personality type could influence the way you work out and what exercises you should be doing? Here to help me explain how your personality affects exercise is Olga. Now, Olga, from what I hear, you are a type A personality, is that true? I sure am. I am a very high, strong person. I am always on the go. I have two wonderful children that keep me very, very busy. Full-time job, also do a little private work here and there. So I am constantly high strung. Now I couldn't understand why you're high strung at all. You don't really have all that much on your plate. Now what's very interesting is when someone who has your personality type exercises, they usually gravitate towards exercise choices that are like their personality. So they tend to be a little more aggressive, a little more high intensity, yeah. a little, you know, harder. That's what I do. I, that doesn't surprise me. I am like you. <laughs> now, uh, it's very important to understand that Exercise is stress on the body. That's actually what exercise is okay. on a cellular level to the body. The other thing that's important to understand is that we all have a stress bucket. And when that stress bucket is full, we can't dump more in without it overflowing. So the last thing you want to do is actually increase stress through exercise. Sounds I'm going to show you our first exercise, which I've got queued up. You can actually just stay right there. Great. So the first exercise we have is going to be a, uh, a row with rotation, okay. okay? Now, in order to do this exercise, I'm just going to back up a little bit. And also, you know, for our viewers at home, if you don't have this exact setup, that's okay. You know, if you have a cable at home, for instance, but you don't have a chin-up yeah. bar like we do, mm -hmm. you can always just throw the other end over the top of the door and close oh, the door, okay, great. all right? Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do here is a row with rotation and a weight shift. So from here, we're going to keep our hips square, and then we're going to pull rotate and drop our weight down. Now, I'm still looking at where the cable comes from at the okay. bottom. The whole idea is the whole time the head looks, like, looks at that focal point, mm -hmm. the weight shifts back and down as I pull and I continue to look straight ahead. I'm gonna have okay. you go underneath, pass the cable to you, 
and have you give it a go. Okay. So you're gonna start with your arm stretched out, so your body is gonna be square, feet mm -hmm. are facing the wrong direction. I know you wanna leave, but they should be facing the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, this foot is facing forward. Okay. This foot is, is a little further back, because don't forget, if you don't have a wide enough base, you can't shift your weight. This arm is gonna be relaxed at the side, okay? Mm -hmm. Now from here, you're going to rotate, that's it. That's now, it. the reason that we're, we're using that arm to come up is that tells us when, when to stop rotating. Now, the only thing I'd like to fix is a little more of a weight shift onto this side. I feel side. the resistance there. You feel that? Okay. I do. So 80% on the front when you come back of okay. your weight, and then you're going to shift to 80% on the back. Good. Oh, Let's just good. <laughs> now, this is gotcha. something, keep, and you can continue going while I talk. This is, this is an exercise that is not going to overly tax your body. It's a type of exercise that actually might make you feel good or energized, and you're not gonna really go overboard. One of the things that I really like about this exercise is there are only so many ways that the human body can move, and this covers three of them. It, can, it covers pulling, uh -huh. it covers twisting, and it actually covers a squat. This little movement that we're doing at the end is like a squat. Now stay right there because we're gonna transfer right into our next mm -hmm. exercise. Square your feet for me. Now, I want you to grab the cable with the other hand. We're gonna do an anti-rotation abdominal exercise, okay? So now, this is called a payoff press. I guess the guy who invented his name was Payloff. <laughs> All right, what we're gonna do from here is the, ca the cable obviously is trying to pull you in that direction, mm -hmm. okay? What I want you to do is just go push your hand straight out to my hand and hold it. Now, what do you okay. feel? The cable's trying to yank Resistance, you, okay? Yes. Exactly. So we get to work your abdominals and all of those deep uh, muscles of the core, all right? That's your obliques. That's exactly what I need. That's what everybody, wa that's what everybody needs and everybody that's wants exactly. to work. And you're going to bring it back in to rest. So you can hold, bring it out just a little higher to your diaphragm and then okay. straight out in line with your diaphragm, just like that, just a tad lower. Okay, we're going to hold anywhere from five to 10 seconds mm -hmm. and go ahead and bring it back in. Good, let's just do right. one more. Make sure we got your form checked. Good, right there. We're gonna hold for five. And bring it back in. Good, right. felt it getting more difficult as time went yep. on. How Go many ahead reps and, should I do? You know, it really varies uh, depending on, uh, on your capability level and your, your skill level with the, with the exercise. I'm just gonna move you over here for a moment as we move on. Okay. Next one, you're gonna grab onto this pole here. Okay, we're gonna set up for a squat. All right, now the reason we're holding onto the pole is to make the squat a little easier. Mm -hmm. I know that you can probably squat hard and grin, okay. that's not what we want. Okay. We want you to breathe, we want you to use range of motion, okay? So setting up over here, okay, what I'd like you to do is you can bring this just a bit closer, and from here, you're gonna descend back and down into a squat using the pole as your guide. Excellent squat. That was really impressive, very good. Great. Let's try that for a few more reps, good. Okay, remember I want you to take a nice deep breath in on the way down and let it out on the way up. There you go, one more. Good, excellent. Very good work, you did oh, a, a, a stellar job. The whole idea is to work out right for That's your personality it. type, That's right? right Bay. <laughs> and coming up next, we have some difficult exercises for the easygoing, something that we can't relate to. Oh, not me. <laughs> but that was very good. You know, when you're, when you're using this tonight. <laughs>
So now it's easier than ever to make custom t-shirts. Even this guy can do it. As soon as a customer starts their design, an inker like me is there to help them make it perfect. We care about every customer's design just as much as they do. That is custom ink! The inkers I worked with are amazing. I'm ready when you are. I uploaded my own art and they helped me with my design until it was absolutely perfect. Our shirts are awesome and the girls are so happy. Thanks, Custom Ink! Custom Ink really helped my business look professional. When my crew wears the shirts, our clients know we're for real. Thanks, Custom Ink. We know the shirts mean a lot, and we're just nuts about living up to that. Good isn't good enough. We want people thinking, wow, that was awesome. And that's why 99% of customers say they'd come back to Custom Ink. I would definitely use Custom Ink again, and we've recommended it to friends. And it's not just for t-shirts. You can even order can coolers and hats. I can honestly say Custom Ink was the best online experience I've ever had. Visit TryCustomInc.com today and start your t-shirt design for free. Order one shirt or thousands. On-time delivery is guaranteed and we'll even ship your order absolutely free. This was the best reunion ever. Thanks, Thanks Custom Ink! Thanks, Custom Ink! Thanks, Custom Ink! Everyone could use a little more peace and harmony in their life, and that's what Zen's all about. Zen is about bringing balance to every aspect of our chaotic, hectic lives. Hi, I'm Bex, and I'm the host of Got Zen. You can find Zen in so many different ways. You can take a yoga class, you can meditate, you can exercise. Zen allows us to live our life better every single day. God Zen, tomorrow at 8 a.m. on Berea Living. We're focusing on fitness personalities today to figure out what kind of exercises are best based on your personality type. Type B people are known to be easygoing and laid back, the opposite of me, and my next client is just that. Welcome, Gina. Hi. So you, you're my opposite. Yeah, I'm <laughs> relatively laid back. I mean, my husband and I just like to sit on the couch and watch TV too much. Sounds relaxing. I need yeah. a little bit of that in my life. <laughs> like, even if I'm sitting down on the couch, I need, you know, like, one smartphone in one hand, another smartphone oh, no. in the other, like, I don't even know where the, where the remote goes, but I just, I always need to be doing something. The great thing about being a, a laid-back personality, type B personality, is that you usually don't carry a lot of stress. Is that correct? Sure, okay. yeah. So not carrying a lot of stress means that I can dump a lot of exercise stress oh, on you. Because exercise <laughs> is stress on the body, but that means it's actually a great thing because it means that you're in a state where you can receive this stress and it won't put you over to the top. Okay. Now, what that means is you're in for, well, a little bit of surprise because I'm going to give you a workout that is an interval style workout that you can do in your home using an ottoman. Or you can, if you want to take it outside, you can even just use a park bench for all the same things that we're doing. There's good news and there's bad news. The good news is all the moves we're doing are fairly simple. The bad news is you're not going to get to rest, okay? <laughs> now, what does that mean? We're taking active rests the entire time. So we're going to use this as our little, we're going to make a track basically around the ottoman. So every time after you finish an exercise, you're going to take a victory lap. That's how we're going to celebrate, okay? okay? All right. So our first exercise is called a box jump, all right? And what a box jump means is that you're just jumping up onto something. We don't have a box. We have an ottoman, all right? So let's go ahead and just do one practice jump. Okay. Okay, come a little closer. All right. Right there. You never want to be too far back when you do box jump, all right? So go ahead, jump up, stick the landing. That's it. Ah. And step down. So you always want to step. Perfect. <clears throat> Next move. I'm just going to reposition you over here. We're going to do a regressed push-up. So you're going to put your hands on here. That's it. You can go just a little wider if you'd like with your hands, depending on what's comfortable. And you're going to bring your diaphragm down to the ottoman. So move in just a little bit. Oh. That's it. Okay. Go ahead. And up. Not okay. exactly the easiest thing, no. right? <laughs> now, moving on to number three. This is called a Frankenstein sit-up. I'm going to have you lay down on the ottoman. All right, you ready to be like Frankenstein? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so you're so laid back. I say you're ready to be like Frankenstein? <laughs> like, sure. Yeah, sure. All right. You're going to keep your hands pasted to your thighs the entire time, okay. and I want you to go ahead and sit up. That's it. And then gently back down, keeping your hands pasted to your thighs. Enjoy the shaking that happens on the way back down. Exactly. Yeah, All right. Just like that. Now go ahead and pop back up for a moment. Okay. Our last exercise is going to be a bear crawl. Now, you told me you'd seen this before. Just a reminder, this means that you are kind of getting your butt up in the air and walking around like a bear, okay? Okay. The bear crawl is going to be done around the couch. 
Now, here's what we're going to do. One lap around the couch after five reps of each exercise. Okay. Ready to give it a go? Sure. Let's go. All right. Five jumps. Remember to step down after each one. Let's start it off. All right. Okay. Big jump. Good. Excellent. And it's great how you're sticking the land. Let's go right back to two. Let's go. Don't look at me. You're doing the middle of a workout. There you go. Good. <laughs> and it's good that you're keeping your feet on the wider side, which is good. And that helps with stability while you land. That's it. And don't forget to get the knees up high and land. Good. Step down. Take your victory lap. <laughs> Yay! All right. <laughs> you get to do more exercise. All right. And what waits for you at the end of your victory lap? Push-ups. So we're going to do five push-ups right here. Okay, let's bring it down. Remembering to keep the elbows tucked in. There you go. That's it. Staying tight over here. Let's bring it down all the way. Back up. Okay. There you go. I'm going to give you a little manual yeah. assistance there. That's okay. These are tough. Bring it down. I'll help you out. And let's just go halfway in the last two, which is fine. You're still working the triceps and you're still working the chest, even if you only go halfway. Good job. Pop it up. Ooh. Time for a victory lap, Missy. All right. <laughs> let's bring it back around. Now, once again, no good deed goes unpunished. Now it's time for Frankenstein sit-ups, all right? So you're gonna start over here. Now it's very important. I want you to segmentally curl yourself up. So keep the hands on the thighs, curl yourself up, and bring it back down. There you go. There you go. Bring it up, breathe out on the way up. That's it. And bring it back down. Now one of the reasons I like this exercise as you continue to move is because you're not using your hip flexors at all. When you secure your feet underneath an object to do sit-ups, you use the muscles of the hips. This really isolates all of your abdominal muscles instead. So we're working, it's an anterior core exercise. Good, pop it up, take a lap, let's go. Ugh. Time to do your lap, all right? And your very last thing, as soon as you come back, you're gonna do, do mountain, ma the, I'm sorry, not mountain climbers, but bear, bear crawl, all right? So you're gonna crawl around. <laughs> oh <laughs> That's my it, keep it going. This is a tough one, and I'm sure your shoulders are burning by now, but you've done a good job. Bring it back around, and you get a high five for victory. All right. <laughs> all right, good work. Whew. Now that is the way you need to work out. <laughs> this is perfect for your fitness personality, all right? All right. You can repeat that anywhere from four to five times. Very good job. Coming up next, excel at exercise with an Ayurvedic approach. And later, do you know your dosha? That was very, very good. Um, running around the entire <laughs> time is... It's the bold new face of wellness. The all new Varia Living and VariaLiving.com. Like us on Facebook and join the community at Facebook.com slash Varia Wellness. <laughs> Are you suffering from sinus congestion and allergies? Get fast relief with new My Pure Mist, the first handheld steam inhaler providing superior comfort naturally and quickly. Steam is a natural decongestant used by millions and is so effective that leading medical institutions recommend it. My Pure Mist uses patented CFE technology previously only available with FDA cleared hospital ventilators. The uniquely fine CFE mist penetrates deep into your sinuses, throat and lungs, providing superb relief from inflammation and congestion caused by allergies, sinus infections, the common cold and flu. With My Pure Mist, you simply push the on button to get instant germ-free steam without any presence of boiling water. It's cool to the touch and safe for kids, too. With My Pure Mist, there's no preparation, no waiting, no cleanup. And since it's handheld, you can conveniently use it anywhere, anytime. No wonder My Pure Mist has a five-star approval rating on Amazon.com and receive rave reviews on leading doctor shows. My Pure Mist has changed my life. I can be outdoors, follow my passion of gardening, I can breathe, and I can finally sleep well. Save time and money with My Pure Mist. No more drug side effects, no more uncomfortable neti pots, no boiling water, and no cleaning of humidifiers. Many of my patients have told me that this is the most effective form of humidification that they've ever experienced. It's really an, an amazing miracle machine for me because there is uh, nothing that comes close. Try My Pure Mist risk-free for 30 days for only $19.95. We'll even pay return shipping if you're not 100% satisfied. Call within the next 10 minutes to get free shipping and a free travel bag, a $25 value. Why suffer when you can get fast, natural sinus relief with My Pure Mist? Call 1-800-303-3340 or go to TryMyPureMist.com now for this limited time offer. That's 1-800-303-3340. Listen up, it's time to meet the go-to girls. 
Peggy K serves up delicious holistic cures. Green tea is amazing when it comes to your memory. Nirmala whips up spicy Ayurvedic creations. It's smoking like you, baby. <laughs> Juliana dishes with wellness experts on what's best. I love it. Dr. Holly separates health facts from fiction. That myth can be busted. Together, they're a posse arming you with info and tips to keep you healthy and well. Power up with the go-to girls. Weekdays only on For Real Living. Understanding who you are can help determine how much exercise you need. Here to help us discover your strengths and weaknesses, Ayurvedically, is wellness coach Nadja Andriva. Nadja, welcome. Thank you for having me. Now, before someone starts making decisions about exercise Ayurvedically, they need to understand their dosha, which you have already, you've, you've already worked up my dosha, but there's only one small problem. I don't even know what a dosha is. Well, dosha Ayurvedically is your unique mind-body type, and that determines your likes, dislikes, your strengths, weaknesses, your ability to lose weight, mm -hmm. and your inclination to gain weight. And it also offers ways that would be the best for you to exercise in terms of whether you would exercise um, in a more relaxing way or in a more strenuous way. Mm -hmm. And is it like a personality thing, or how does it how does that work? The the actual the dosha well, itself. Well, it's both personality and your body. Um, so it's gonna determine from how skinny or overweight the person mm -hmm. could become, what they like in terms of food, um, whether they do well with aerobic or weight exercises, right. or whether certain exercise would be too depleting for them and they need to focus more on nourishing types of exercise. Now, one of the interesting things that I understand is that Ayurvedic medicine uh, suggests that you only exercise at about 50% of your, and I can't even imagine doing that. And no, I, to tell you the truth, 50% of my intensity is like, meh, I don't want to go there, but it's still pretty high. Why is that? Well, Ayurvedically speaking, exercise is a way to maintain health. It's a way to keep your body energized and to keep your life force or prana smoothly fl flowing through your entire body. So the whole perception of using exercise as only for weight loss is not close to Ayurvedic understanding of exercise. Mm -hmm. In Ayurveda, 50% um, is given as a guideline so the person feels energized, not depleted after exercise. Mm -hmm. And over time, that 50% increases quite high so the person doesn't feel fatigued, they don't feel drained, depleted, or even sore as much. But compared to other people who are always exercising and depleting their body, or tearing their muscles, they're gonna be in a much better shape and health. Well, now I like, I just gotta ask a personal question. There's nothing that gives me more satisfaction than throwing yeah. 400 pounds on my back or picking, you know, and squatting or picking up six. Can I, can I even do that from an Ayurvedic uh, standpoint? Or are there certain things that one shouldn't do? Well, okay, so if you do that, then you need to choose a few balancing activities afterwards, okay. which could be some slow type stretching, or maybe an oil massage um, or a warm bath. Mm -hmm. So you nourish your body after using it. It's not always against your body. You're not trying to tear the muscles. And the truth is this corresponds with everything we know from Western science as well, which is that you need your body gets stronger and you get yeah. better when you're recovering, not while you're actually working out. It's, is, is that sort of what this is about, that always establishing that balance, the yin and yang of, of exercise? Yeah, exactly. So you always want to find balance, whether it means for finding more nourishing type of activity, so you're not pushing 400 pounds mm -hmm. every single day, mm -hmm. or finding an exercise that you can maintain for five to seven days a week, but that keeps you energized, not the type where you feel completely depleted after. I have a question I really need help with. Yeah. I despise working out early in the morning. Like, I absolutely hate it. And from what I understand, Ayurvedic tradition tells you what there, there are better times yeah. to work out. So when should one work out during the day? Well, ideally, Ayurveda advises to work out early in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, but what Ayurveda considers an exercise is basically the, the whole goal is to get your blood circulation going, to get okay. your lymph moving. So even if you jump around um, in your kitchen before your 
tea or coffee boils, mm -hmm. do 10 jump, jumping jacks. I don't jacks. know if my downstairs neighbors would appreciate that. That'll be fine. <laughs> you can do 10 push-ups. I weigh over 200 pounds. I don't think it'll be fine. Maybe if you okay. do it, it'll be fine. You can <laughs> dance. Just as long as you move, move around. Even, even if you stretch in your bed while lying down, that's going to get your blood moving. Mm -hmm. But then your major exercise can be either during the day or in the evening, as long as you don't exercise two or three hours before going to mm -hmm. bed. But and, of, and of course, I mean, it's very important to simply just move around because, yes. because unlike our cardiovascular system where blood is regularly being pumped around, lymph doesn't move unless we move. It's one yes. of the reasons that the obese, you know, get, get so sick. Exactly. And then the same thing with fascia. Fascia gets a lot thicker overnight. So the first thing in the morning, you want to move it around. You want to liquefy it. So your body feels a lot more open. Um, and you can do it only by increasing your temperature inside and moving a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. Now you've, uh, you've really piqued my interest and I am getting very curious about what my dosha is. And how about body consciousness during exercise? Well, body consciousness or body awareness is a necessary element during any exercise. You want to see how your body is responding to exercise, uh, whether it feels good or if it doesn't feel good, whether you feel heat building up, whether you feel your muscles working. And it's been proven scientifically um, in a modern age, not only at the time of Ayurveda, that being more conscious of the muscle helps to isolate and work muscles in a better way. Um, which is really hard to do if you're watching a TV show or reading a magazine mm -hmm. while doing stuff. So like I, you see everybody at the gym and they're flipping through magazines. Exactly. Or they're, right. And they're doing it halfway, which is not 50% of Ayurveda. Right. It's they're just not like not, really, they're, they're not, not tuned into the, the body at yeah. all. Well, I'm excited because you're sticking around. And coming up next, I'm going to find out if my dosha matches my fitness personality. I am very interested to hear what this is. The all-new VariaLiving.com is your home on the web for health and wellness, including tips from our experts and lots and lots of video. There's something else out there that you can do to heal yourself. The all-new VariaLiving.com. Go well. If you've got acne, you're probably battling more than just pimples. I get brown marks. Discoloration from previous breakouts. My skin has had sun damage. Every breakout that I ever had would leave a mark. It was horrible. That's why Proactive developed our groundbreaking dark spot corrector to help lighten sunspots, age spots, and the marks that acne can leave behind. The dark spot corrector is designed to work seamlessly with our three-step system, and it's become one of our best-selling products ever because it works. It just made a huge difference on even sunspots that I had. The spots around my cheek area and on my chin have started to fade away. I was noticing that my age spots were starting to diminish. I can just apply it and I know that after a week or so that dark spot is gone. Today's the day for you to try the dark spot corrector because today Proactive is offering one of our best deals ever. Call right now and we'll send you America's number one acne fighting system for just $19.95. And we'll include our amazing dark spot corrector free. That's right, you'll get one of our most effective and luxurious products, a $22 value at no cost to you because we want you to see just how great your skin can look. I've told everybody about Proactive. It makes my skin look flawless. Call now and get the three-step system plus the dark spot corrector. We'll even include two more extras. That's an $82 value for just $19.95. And now get started even faster with Proactive Next Day, so you can get Proactive shipped overnight and start clearing up even sooner. People ask me, what are you doing to your skin that's different? I'm like, you have to try this. Call 1-800-772-7167. And don't forget to ask about Proactive Next Day. That's 1-800-772-7167. Don't settle for bad skin. Do something about it with Proactive. Today, it's all about your fitness personality, and we've been talking about how our dosha impacts our fitness style. 
So I took a dosha test and I'm rejoined by Nadia. And uh, Nadia, you are an expert on doshas and Ayurvedic uh, medicine and tradition. I'm, I'm bursting at the seams. What's my dosha and what does it mean? Well, your pita kapha. It's fine, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> well, most people have two predominant doshas. Okay. So it's a combination of qualities. Pita is very fiery by nature, very active, um, very good with intense exercise, but doesn't like heat very much. Kapha, on the other hand, is very good with endurance exercise, doesn't like it too much, okay. but they would be if they stick with it. And so I'm Pita, I'm Pita Kapha. Yes, you're a balance of two. And Kaphas tend to gain weight easily, uh -huh. and Pita likes to eat. So <laughs> <laughs> for a person who is not physically active, that would be a combination of doshas that would probably get them to be overweight at some point of life. Now, so, I don't know what this tells you, but I, I exercised very hard the other day. And then at night, I had an entire pizza pie of Hawaiian pizza. Does that does that fit into to my dosha? Because it sounds like it does. <laughs> well, yes. That's pretty scary. Because um, any high intensity exercise is going to aggravate your pita dosha, your fire inside. So it's going to bring in more fire in uh -huh. your body. And when you have more fire, your metabolism is faster, but also your appetite is a lot stronger. Pitas need to eat a lot and regularly. Uh, Sometimes I even eat a lot of pita when I go to the Lebanese <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> okay. Well, as long as you work out and don't eat to the point that you make makes your digestion sick. Right. So as long as your digestion stays regular mm -hmm. and you feel like you're just uh, balancing out what you did with your exercise, then it's fine. But kapha types, because they have an inclination to collect mucus and to be heavy and sluggish and sometimes depressed if there's too much kapha in the system, you want to make sure that whatever you eat doesn't get your kapha imbalanced. So it's all about really a balancing act more yes. than anything else. Nadia, thank you so much. Find out your fitness personality and you'll find an exercise program that suits you. I'm Jeff Halvey. I'll see you next time on Workout From Within. Um, Hi folks, and welcome once again to Under the Sun. I'm Nathan Leroy, and this week I truly have a special treat for you. I kind of have a treat for you every week, but this week's a bit of an exception, because I'm coming to you from an absolutely unspoiled tropical paradise. A collection of 83 islands situated three hours flight north-northeast of the eastern Australian coast. Over a hundred different languages span this collection of islands. The people who live here are relatively new to any kind of fiscal economy. They've had no need for industrial farming. There's been no influx of pesticides or chemicals to nurture this pristine volcanic land. Everything just shoots out of the ground here. And every single little bit of produce is organic. My friends, I'm talking too long. Let's get out there and see with our own eyes what's on the menu in Vanuatu. from the western coast of the United States. If we travel southwestwards, we would reach the South Pacific. But first we'd go past Hawaii, and then the other Polynesian islands of Tahiti, Western Samoa, Tonga. Traveling further west,